Hey guys, welcome back. And today I want to talk about why I think my battery bus bars are corroding so bad. I'm driving to work uh, one day and I'm in stop and go traffic down the interstate. I'm sure you guys know how it is. And I'm hearing the sloshing noise in the back of the, the Black Knight, the Prius, the most hated car on the internet. And uh, it's, uh, it keeps sloshing. I'm like, where is this water coming from? Um, so I open up uh, the gate, uh, peel uh, you know all the inside pieces back so I can get a good look at it and I could not believe what I saw. I mean it had been raining for probably two days. We had maybe an inch and a half of rain over two days, I think it was. It was just a mess back there. Water was everywhere. And you can see from this video it was just, it was awful. It was a mess. Um, so I had to go through and I had to seal all around uh, the rubber gasket. Uh, I, I watched several videos on how you keep water from coming into your Prius trunk and uh, you know they all said different things so I went ahead I just went nuclear on this and I just went to town. Uh, good news is it's mostly fixed. Um, I would say maybe a few drops are getting in still but I think that's some f from some cut weather stripping. I'll see if I can put a picture of that up here. Um, so if you're having water in your trunk, um, you know, it's it's probably coming in from around where I sealed here. You can see in this video that I just went to town on it. Um, another thing that I'm considering is this is probably corroding my battery bus bars, or at least contributing to it. Um, I had, uh, the reason why I found this too is my red triangle went off again. Um, it was overcharging the battery engine was revving like crazy so you know I, I I knew I was having an issue but I kept hearing the sloshing and, and so I went back checked it all out and found this mess so what I ended up doing was um, just basically sealing getting rid of the water trying to make everything better um, but by this time one of the modules was too weak um, I think the code came back on probably after about 150 miles so went ahead, disassemble the battery, replace the module. I'm not going to cover a video on that. There's several videos out there for that. So, you, you know, you guys can find a good one to help you do that if you need it. But uh, put it all back together, sealed it. Uh, like I said, nuclear sealing. And it's been running fine for, um, it's probably been a month now, um, probably longer. Uh, several trips uh, back and forth to work, uh, which is a pretty good drive for me. That's about 62, 63 miles a day. Um, I've been doing it for, for quite a while now, so all good. So, uh, module, ultimate module fix. I don't know if the battery bus bar corrosion contributes to the module weakening, and eh, who knows, right? Uh, I guess I'll see how much longer the battery lasts with this module replacement, um, and, uh, and with the, with the leak fixed. So, that's about all we have for today. Thanks for watching, and we will see you next time.